Hi friends, it's Andrew Goodall here again from Nature's Image Photography and today I'm returning to one of my favourite places for some more birds in flight on the Panasonic Lumix G9. Before we get started I would love it if you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to keep in touch with all my content on the G9 and my entire world of photography. So a few months ago now I put out a video looking at birds in flight on the Lumix G9 with the Panasonic Leica 100-400mm lens. Well that turned out to be one of the most popular videos I've ever done, so with some perfect winter weather lately I decided to head back for another try. My location is Point Arkwright at Coolum on the Sunshine Coast, and it's such a beautiful spot that even if the birds don't come out to play, you know you're still in for a good day out. Point Arkwright has views to the north, east and south, the light is best in the afternoon and it continues to get better as the sun goes down. There's plenty of bird life here and the ospreys, brahmini kites and white-bellied sea eagles are commonly seen flying along these cliffs. I realise now that when I made that first video I had it way too easy. Last time round there were lots of birds, they flew close to the camera and mostly at around eye level. This time there was much less activity and when the birds did appear they were mostly a long way off, often flying low down near the water, where autofocus has trouble picking them out from the background. So my success rate wasn't great and I had to work a lot harder. But I did finally come up with some decent shots and a couple of real gems, so be sure to watch right to the end because I've saved the best for last. Technique wise, well things haven't changed much since last time. I still shoot in high speed continuous or burst mode for most of the shots. Because I'm focusing on moving subjects I use AFC or autofocus continuous. And although I have spent a bit more time trying out the Animal Detect autofocus since the firmware update last November, to be honest I feel I still have more success using the custom multi autofocus area mode. So that's how most of my bird in flight photos are still shot. With custom multi the bird only has to be near the centre of the frame and the camera should be able to lock onto it. Of course the further away the bird is the more likely the camera is to be confused by the background but as I've already mentioned I still find it performs better than the Animal Detect autofocus. On the lens itself I turn the top switch from full to the 5 meters to infinity setting. When the autofocus is searching for the subject this tells the camera not to look for something very close to me but to search for a subject further away. And of course I have my image stabilizer set to on which is a must for using this lens pretty much all the time. As always I shoot in fully manual mode and I choose the ISO, aperture and shutter speed myself. My settings can change quite a bit depending on the subject and the light, so as I show you some of my better shots I'm going to share the settings as well. I'm also going to show you the uncropped versions of some of the images. And now it's time to let you sit back and watch just a few of the best shots from what turned out to be a pretty challenging couple of afternoons of bird photography. And remember be sure to watch right to the end for my shots of the day.